What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we've got another edition of This Week in Warframe, where we're going over the weekly reset. And just a reminder, weekly reset has been pretty much entirely moved over to Sunday night in Warframe. Not everything that resets on Sunday night, but most of the things that DE remembered have moved to Sunday nights. So, we're going to be going over pretty much all the stuff. Uh, but there's been some goofy weirdness going on today, actually, with the Sortie, the Archon Sortie specifically. Uh, earlier, I had like, it said like five, it had five missions here, guys. Sabotage, uh, defense, and there was like an interception, like a mobile defense jammed in there too. So I was like, yikes. Uh, and also, this Archon was supposed to be reset over to the Wolf Archon. Uh, but it actually is like doing a repeat of the Blue Shard Archon. Uh, for It's just annoying, pretty much. So... This is supposed to be the Wolf Archon, but here we are with the, the Owl Archon again. So we're getting more Blue Shards. So I'm about to have like three or four Blue Shards at this point. Uh, and still no Tau Shards. So that's fun. But yeah, as far as your Archon reset, unless DE actually bug fixes anything, here we are with another Blue Shard. A complete blunder, if you ask me. And the mission types are Sabotage, Normal Defense, and Archon Fight uh, against Boreal. I will link my Boreal Archon boss fight guide in the description down below. All right, so we've also got call missions. Now, call, remember, call missions do change depending on which one you most recently completed. So, for example, if you beat uh, Sneaky Sabotage, which was the first one, you would be on to the second one, which is called Junk Run. And after Junk Run, it's called Prison Break, and so on and so forth. I beat Prison Break last week, so it should be Sneaky Sabotage for me this week. Let's see if this bugged out, too. Tenno. Okay, at least the call mission didn't bug out, right? Some things are still sacred in this world. So call missions don't bug out uh, as far as the reset's concerned. But the Archon fight, you know, just get that blue shard. No big deal. Uh, if you have a good little call grinder, you should be also able to get your rank 5 uh, shards. There's another blue shard. We got blue shards for days up in here, dude. I'm gonna have, about to have uh, five blue shards by the end of today. Seriously. All right, so la-di-da indeed. Let's move on to the Night Wave and other things like that. Uh, hopefully the Night Wave is a little bit better than all these other bugs I've been experiencing. Um, and let's see what we got. Call challenges might have changed. We'll take a quick look at that, see if anything's changed there. Uh, so as far as Nightwave, we've got the first, uh, normal weekly is kill 30 Eximus, pretty straightforward. Uh, 5,000 syndicate rep is really, <laughs> that's actually one of the easiest challenges in the game. Um, we've got three mobile defense missions, pretty straightforward. Uh, isolation vault, bounty in the Cambian Drift, pretty straightforward. Six rare gems in the Orb Valis, uh, straightforward. 20 different resources, also very simple. And complete a 30-minute survival mission. Yikes. Uh, at least it's not with friends anymore. You used, used to have to have friends on your friend list to do that. Uh, as far as Nightwave st store credit offerings here, uh, evergreen stuff at the top. And as far as helmets, actually a pretty good selection of helmets this week, surprisingly. We've got the uh, Protea Te Telema helmet, which is uh, a helmet for sure. we got the Sevagoth uh, pirate helmet, I guess it's called. Revenant Vania Helmet. This is actually a hot commodity as far as D is concerned. This is actually replacing Exodia Contagion in uh, Nabaris Knights as far as we can tell. So really, really powerful helmet right here. Uh, you might want to grab that before uh, you know before it's gone. Uh, well, it's only going to be gone for a couple weeks, so don't worry too much. Uh, and then as far as Aura Mods here, we've got EMP Aura, Rifle, uh, Sniper Scavenger, Steel Charge, Physique, Pistol Scavenger, and Rejuvenation. So as far as ones I'd recommend, definitely get... Uh, Steel Charge, and maybe Rejuvenation. The rest of these are kind of forgettable. Rejuvenation is pretty nice for some built-in health regen. Got the Jaw Sword uh, for Mastery Fodder, a pretty good stat stick. And we've got a lot of PvP or uh, Augment Mods this week. Got Deceptive Bond, Purging Slash, Brainstorm for the Gracada, Ambush Optics for the, the Rubico to give you minus zoom, uh, Prism Guard for Mirage. Definitely pick this up if you don't have it already. It's a very fun little unique playstyle for Mirage. We have like a Disco Ball Turret. Purifying Flames to give uh, status immunity on Ember. So I've, I've been told that the challenges might have changed at call. So let's take, take a, a quick <laughs> let's go take a quick look at that one. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing many of them, I hope, but uh, let's see. Um, okay, so there actually there are actually new challenges to complete for Sneaky Sabotage. Um, okay, so there's not only a 15 minute Speed run challenge. There's also the not die challenge. But you also have to find the four passcodes. Reminder, this one is not going to be cumulative even after they add cumulative challenges. So, they're putting a lot of work into the call missions, it seems. Uh, get five kills within three seconds. Really, DE? On this one? There are hardly any enemies that spawn in this one. Have work to do. Yikes. They should just they, seriously like, revert it. Three kills in five seconds. 
for sneaky sabotage, dude. There, you the, reminder. This is the one you don't even have a gun in. You have a, a machete, a machete until like the end of the mission. Here. Um, maybe you could orbital strike a group of ads. Hopefully, yeah, you get the exorcist at the end. Um, let's go look at what Teshin has. I don't remember what he has um, for this week. And we're also going to go over uh, my weekly invigorations. We're going to talk about the news this week because, spoiler alert, if you have not been paying attention, uh, Revenant Prime will be this week. Revenant Prime will be on Wednesday. And he's coming out with the Phantasma and the Tatsu Prime. Uh, it's going to be a pretty fun Prime Access. I actually think Revenant Prime looks really cool. Got a couple concerns about the weapons, but uh, you know we'll see when they come out if they... Maybe revert the annoying little screen shake thing that the Phantasmans got. Uh, a kit gun ribbon mod from Tashin, not really worth picking up in my opinion. And we're gonna go look at the, the uh, invigorations now. But yeah, guys, I really like. I'm confused what's going on in Warframe right now because I logged in and for some reason my Archon, my Archon sortie had five missions on it. And then like I looked at the UI and it said three out of five complete. I'm like, what? Not to mention the whole it's supposed to be rotated to the Wolf Archon already too. So I'm just kind of sitting here like. What is going on with DE right now? Like, as far as these resets are concerned, it, it, it's just confusing at this point. But the call mission is going nice and smoothly, so it's like, okay, what are we doing here? Uh, as far as weekly invigorations, remember, these are random. Uh, I'm going to see what we have here. I'm looking for something good. We got primary damage and sprint speed for Grendel. Huge dud on that one. Uh, ability duration and health for Rhino. Pretty much a giant dud as well. And another dud. We got secondary crit chance and parkour velocity for Banshee. These are really, really underwhelming, but I will still probably use them to get my override progress. Uh, yeah, yikes. So, that's basically it for the video, guys. Uh, you know, get your weekly reset in here. We're pretty much like... We're not even a Veilbreaker. We're in, we're in Echoes of Veilbreaker watch now. Now that Veilbreaker's out and we've seen all that has to offer... Yeah, three call missions is all we get, by the way. Um, it's kind of like, okay, well, Echoes of Veilbreaker, I suppose. Get your weekly reset in. Uh, hope that they, you know, make this system less crappy. On the Death Stream, they didn't talk about anything involving for, uh, fusing shards together or, like, getting more shards per week, anything like that. They did not even briefly mention that stuff. And that's been a, a big request from a lot of people in the player base uh, is that this feels like this feels like trash. Also, why are Archon mods at Call's Garrison? Why, why, does, Call, why does Call have mods, period? Why does Call have Archon shards? Why does he have uh, Archon mods? Like... It's, it's forcing a, a gameplay that people didn't sign up for in this game, you know? A lot of people don't like operators are enough as it is, and now you're making me play as a literal grenier, and in some of those missions, I don't even have a jetpack. Like, the one today, Sneaky Sabotage, I'm going to be running around with a machete, and it's not even sneaking. Like, calling it sneaky is, is a disservice to the word sneaking, because you could just run right past all the enemies. Like, it's not like Resident Evil, we're going to get seen and killed by the enemy in one hit. No. You look at the enemy, or the enemy looks at you, he gets kind of mad sl slowly, if he gets mad, he's not really going to do much. He's going to briefly chase you. You can stun him. He'll forget about you. So, pretty terrible. Um, I know some people like the call missions, but, dude, that it's not Warframe to me, personally. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're, you know, we're holding on here. And I hope that you found it all interesting and helpful. See you next time. Peace.